All right, so let's say you have your hardware and your software all picked out and you're ready to start building. Now it's time for installation, but we have a problem. The software is not available for immediate download and the installation and activation takes hours, days, even weeks. Well, you can download a fully functional version of Ignition anytime, as in right now, for free. Ignition installs in three minutes, clients deploy in seconds. You could literally download it right now, launch a client, connect to a database, and start gathering data before the end of this webinar. One pain point that's stuck around for years is that deploying applications can be tedious and requires clients to go offline. Another is that project backups and restorations are time consuming and frustrating. Ignition has a single click deployment from the designer. It updates in seconds and clients stay online the entire time. Plus, you can back up projects with one click and restore in seconds. And so let's move on to some designer pain points. Similar to what we mentioned before, is requiring a shutdown to add functionality to the SCADA system. Um, and then another pain point is if the designer versions are out of sync with runtime versions, uh, you know, one can be really frustrated. You know, it can be frustrating if the designer does not support concurrent development. So only one person on the team can develop it at a time. And so Ignition, you know, solves some of these by saying it's hot pluggable for our modules, right? You can add modules on the fly um, without having to restart your gateway. Um, kind of like apps on your phone, right? You download them, there it is, more functionality. And uh, the designer is included with Ignition, meaning that it's always in sync, um, you know, it's just built in and, uh, you know, runs off the server. And Ignition also has unlimited designer clients, which allows multiple developers to work on any of the projects concurrently. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute here. Some more pain points, um, designers, that are sold and installed separately by the seat is a, a big pain point people have had, or needing uh, separate designers for SCADA, MES, IIoT, etc. cetera. Um, and the third one that we've heard a couple times is a project is in the demanding final phase, you know, you're kind of at the end here, but there's only one designer client available for your whole team. As we mentioned, the Ignition designer has unlimited seats right out of the box, but also, it's a comprehensive designer. Um, and so it can be used to develop all your different applications. Kind of a game changer for Ignition that I can sign in to one design environment. That's where I configure my tags, my history, my alarms, my reports, my screens, my dashboards. I can develop you know, web pages, API endpoints, all of that from one uh, single pane of glass, which is pretty, pretty powerful. And when you're in that final phase of the project, you know, having unlimited designer clients leads to those collaborative wins. So these next few pain points are those big ones we talked about at the beginning of the webinar, the kinds that can stop a project in its tracks. Just to start, activation licensing is a difficult and complicated task. And beyond that, clients are sold and installed separately by the seat. With Ignition, activation and transfer is simple and fast, 24-7, 365. Just the same, uh, as the unlimited number of designers, Ignition also comes with unlimited clients. So let's say you do your due diligence and you have a good understanding of how many tags and clients are required for a certain project. Then something changes or something gets added and suddenly you don't have enough tags or clients and the price skyrockets to add more. Or in the case of tags, your entire project is stalled because you're out of tags. With Ignition, you only pay by the license, not by the number of tags or clients. And the unlimited licensing lets you add as many tags as necessary. The only limitation is literally the size of your server. 